Hey everyone, it's Steve here, the DJ Lab, and today I'm going to compare the stem separation between Serato DJ Pro 3.0 Beta 2 up against Algorithm DJ Pro AI. So this is going to be real simple, real short and sweet. I just pull up a track, got some vocals. I'm going to play the vocals on both, and you tell me what you think. All right, so that was Serato DJ Pro 3.0 Beta 2. And here we are looking at DJ Algorithm, DJ Pro AI, and let's do the same thing here. All right, my friends, you tell me what you think. Now, I'm going to give you my thoughts. Personally, let me just tell you a couple of things. I do believe Serato implements it better with my existing controller. You see, my XCJXZ, I didn't have to MIDI map anything. I can go in and say, pick one of my uh, pad modes and let me use that. And I like how um, I've got pad effects as well, too. So that's kind of nice. Uh, let's get right in there and you'll see that, yeah, we had the pad effects. Now, what I kind of had going on here, if you're wondering why I'm using Deck 3, I actually have both programs open. So one channel was controlling Serato and another channel was operating the uh, DJ Pro AI at the same time. But you don't want to do that on a regular basis. This is just for this demonstration. So you've got like the instrumental echo out, you got that uh, instrumental breaker, the drum echo, and then the vocal effects. Now when we get over, let me just uh, make sure we're looking at the right thing here. Oh, we're not looking at the right thing. Okay, let me get over that scene. Let me talk about that again. Hopefully you can see this. So we got, yeah, vocal effects, instrumental echo, sorry, yeah, instrumental echo, instrumental breaker, drum echo. That's about all you can kind of do when it comes to the effects of the stems. Now, let's uh, switch over here and look at the DJ Pro AI. What's really interesting when you pull up the effects here is that, but I don't know how you implement this. That's the problem. From a performance standpoint, everything's cool, but if you have to control it, I, you're going to have to do some crazy MIDI mapping. So, for instance, I can put a reverb and say I want a reverb just on my vocal. Right? So just to give you an idea. So that's kind of, you know, that's a nice little effect to be able to put effects specifically on things. The only thing I'm not seeing here is there doesn't seem to be a way to um, say, I want to do vocal and melody, let's say. So, you know, like my vinyl break, I can only assign my vinyl break to, say, 
the uh, harmonics or the drums. I can't say due to the instrumental. And of course, you see here that you can set up for drums, harmonics, vocals, or you can have drums, bass, harmonic, vocals. You can sp set up any way you want. It is kind of cool that I can click it on and off or I can adjust it with a slider. I have to say that's something that would be nice if the new Serato, when it comes out, gives me a little bit of flexibility. But once again, you only got so many buttons and knobs. You know what I mean? You have to literally get a bunch of other controllers and do some crazy mapping to make this one work really effectively. I feel like DJ Pro AI is probably really good on an iPad and designed for that whole touch interface. But I don't know how it would play out in an, a performance mode situation. So, yeah, from the, the workflow, this might be able to do a little bit more. It is 70 bucks a year Canadian. That's what I'm I just paid for this thing. Um, and it's not intuitive. You know what I mean? I got to really do some digging around. I suspect it's better on an iPad from what I saw in videos than it is on the desktop. So I still kind of feel like for me playing and everything else, sound quality wise, I think Serato sounds just ever so slightly better. I mean, it's a real tough call. I don't know. It's a tough one, but from standalone performance mode of me just plugging in an existing controller into Serato and I've done it with a you know, my Prime 4, I've done it with the SC. Uh, well, the SC 6000s don't work quite yet, but my um, my S11, the Reloop 8000 MK2s work good with it. Everything I've done so far, it was plug and play, no messing around. I feel like uh, the DJ Pro AI, it's not going to be as simple for me. Oh, just get back there. Yeah, there we go. Talk about Serato. So, Feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. I just kind of wanted to briefly go over the differences. I've compared Virtual DJ with Serato. I thought Serato was better. I feel like DJ Pro here is, uh, or DJ Pro AI is a little bit closer. It's tight, man. And both of these things, by the way, this was coming on Beatport link. So same files. You know, being streamed. You tell me what you think below. Let's talk about it and see who you think the STEM winner is in all of this. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the alert button. Got lots of new videos coming soon. Talk to you all later.